Today, I want to take you through unboxing the new Mini 2, and I'm going to compare it to the Mavic Mini, the original one, and I'm also going to compare it to the Mavic Air 2. I see a lot of people online asking questions, which one should I get, which is always the question that we get. So we're going to go through the opening of this, and then I'm going to put them kind of side to side and give you some a comparison of the, uh, the capability of each of these drones. So let's get started. All right, we have the box, it's right here. And in this box we have, um, well, let's open it. Let's find out what we got. It comes with this pouch. Now, this I need to mention is the uh, Mavic Mini, the combo, the Flymore combo. So as you can see on the, uh, on the cover in itself is it comes with uh, three sets of batteries and then obviously the controller and the drone and then some propellers and then uh, another box right here, which we'll find out what it does, which is kind of the same as what it does for the, uh, the other mini that we've uh, been using for a while uh, in the studio here. So uh, let's open this thing up. It goes around right here. It's actually really cool. The, the zipper is all covered, so you can't really see where the zipper actually is located. And then here's the beast. Okay, so I'm gonna take this out. Now this is the controller. The controller is a lot larger than the controller that we've had before for the Mavic Mini. Uh, this right here, this is the controller difference right here. And this is the controller for the Mavic Air 2. So it's exactly the same form factor as the Mavic Air 2. And uh, a little bit of a different look. They put a pause button on the um, on the return to home. This still does the pause button. Uh, it's just that it's not labeled as such. And then from first look, it looks like, yeah, pretty much everything else is uh, exactly the same except that one button right there. So that's, uh, that's pretty neat. I actually like this form factor better pro personally. I think uh, it fits better in the hand than the other one. And you actually put the camera on top instead of at the bottom. So I think that's actually a better look. Uh, a better, it's just a, a better form, quite frankly. And in the middle, we have the switch for normal, cine, and sport. Now, on the Mavic Air 2, we have different settings. We actually have a tripod, sports, uh, normal, and sport. Here, we don't have a tripod mode. We have a cine mode, a cinematic mode, if you want. So I'll take, I'll put these back away over there. And then, and so here's the drone. Here's the mini. And in comparison to, the original mini, we have a slightly, we have pretty much exactly the same uh, shape factor. I'll show you some pictures and some close up. It looks pretty much exactly the same. Now, the first thing that I noticed, the difference between the, uh, the original mini and, uh, and the, uh, the mini two is uh, here the screws were apparent on the back. So if you actually look right here, you can see the screws on the original one. Here they put a little cover on top of it. It still has uh, screws for the, um, for the propellers. The propellers look different. They have colors, okay? So these propellers on the, on the new one have colors at the tip. Uh, this one doesn't have colors. It's just the, 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 the gold, the silver color. And then looking underneath it, the gimbal is a little bit wider. It looks like the gimbal cover, yeah, a little bit. And then otherwise, pretty much they look exactly the same. They're gonna be difficult to, uh, to differentiate, quite frankly, when they're up in the air. So you can see a 4K on the front of the lens. So there's a 4K uh, marking on the new one right here. So I'll put this one to the side for right now. Now this one comes with a, um, a full belt that goes around to keep it in place, which is pretty cool because it actually is going to keep the propellers tight on there as well, which is pretty awesome. Um, so I'll keep taking this stuff out. And we have a box with accessories right here. And then we have uh, a pocket, which I'm expecting has documents in it. So that's kind of uh, everything that we get in here. Now, opening the pockets at the top, we get two knobs for the, for the controller right here, which is always good in case you lose them. And then we have, uh, here's a little screwdriver that we're gonna be using to screw the propellers. And here's propeller is actually individually wrapped in here, there's an A set and a B set. So A and B showing right here. Um, yeah, get propellers. I don't know, and the screws are inside as well. So um, we'll probably need that to be installed later on. So I'm gonna put this to the side 
This is our bag. This is our box right here. So let's go ahead and open the accessory box. Again, remember this is the Fly More Combo. So the Fly More Combo is gonna have a little bit more stuff in it uh, than the traditional one. This is the battery charger for the Fly More Combo. Very similar, it looks like, to um, what we get. Yep, it's got the two batteries in it. So you can see two batteries right here. And it's got uh, the same shape factor, form factor, as we had for the original Mavic uh, Mini. And uh, it has a plug on the side, so you can plug it in to recharge it. This looks like um, this looks like a different plug, actually. This is not the original <laughs> Mini USB, which is good. This looks like a USB-C right here. Speaking of cables, we are getting cables right here. Let me organize this a little bit better here. We have cables, so if you are plugging this into your phone, we have a USB-C to USB-C cable and then a mini USB to USB-C right here. Uh, this is going to go on the, um, on the controller right here. So here's our controller, same as what we had before for the Mavic Air 2. And this is already connected with the um, USB-C to lightning connectors. That's the Apple standard right here. So here we, we can already plug in an iPhone directly into this. I like this form factor because the cable kind of wraps in and goes in and then you can close the antenna and then everything is hidden so you don't actually lose your cable, which is pretty cool. So um, I'm gonna, so if you wanted to replace those cables, you could right here for different phones. I use an iPhone, so I'm actually gonna be using all of that. And then here we have, this is a charger. So this is the USB-C to USB cable to recharge the, uh, the controller and to also recharge the actual battery charger right here. So you would plug this in in here and now everything is USB-C, so that's awesome. Uh, here's your, um, your connection here, plug that into the wall and you can directly recharge your batteries. That's good, I like that. That's a good change from the previous one. So that's it, this is all we got in the box. So I'm gonna put this box to the side right here with the accessories. And let's go ahead and take a look at what we have in this little pocket right here. And my guess is gonna be just paperwork probably. Yep, quick startup guide. There's a user manual, kind of. And um, we will be doing a deep dive Mavic Mini 2, or, or Mini 2, I should say. That's, it's no longer called a Mavic, by the way. It's the DJI Mini 2 now. And uh, we'll be doing a deep dive course like we did for the Mavic Air 2. So you'll be in a, in a Mavic Mini as well. So this is a free course where you'll be able, we'll go in detail about this drone and all the different capabilities of it. And uh, something that you can find on pilotinstitute.com. So um, make sure that you sign up for that if you're owning this drone. Here we have a different, a bunch of different labels and uh, we need to remove those before flying. Uh, <laughs> it always makes me laugh when I see people flying with all the labels still on. Not really supposed to do it that way. So I'm gonna take the gimbal one off, okay? So that's one of them removed right here. I'm gonna take the one at the bottom right here and it kind of shows you on the sticker how to actually do this. And uh, the propellers are inside, this is cool. The propellers are attached inside of the, the, the protector here, so they don't go moving around. And then here we have the two propellers at the top actually do not, it looks like they don't, um, they don't get, oh no, they do, okay. So you could theoretically put these propellers underneath right here as well. So now all your propellers are not jiggling around. This is the one thing that I didn't like about the original one, is if you put it in a bag, you always have to kind of turn it around. They're not easy to remove these propellers. So in this case, you'd, uh, yeah, it's, it's a little bit more painful that way. So uh, it's, uh, it's just a little clip. This is cool, I like this. It's a little button right here that is going to be clipped into the side. It's, it's kind of a rubber, rubberized, uh, material here. I like that. Okay, here's the machine in the back. This is where we're going to put the gimbal, the uh, the battery. So I'm going to take this label off right here. Maybe. 
not easy to pull that little tab right here. And it comes with the battery in it already. So it's pretty much ready to fly. Here's the battery. Now the battery you would have to, uh, you have to make sure you put it in the right way, just like the other mini. Now let me try something. I'm gonna try and see if it's the same battery and if we'll fit in here. Nope, different form factor. This is the original different form factor. It's not as rounded in the corners, so it would not fit. And let's try the other battery. Huh, interestingly, the old battery seems to fit inside of the, uh, the new Mavic 2. So, um, yeah, it shows battery. It shows battery. So if you have an, an original Mavic, it looks like you may be able to reuse your batteries, which is cool. N original mini, I should say. So I'll put that down in here for right now. So battery goes in here. You saw me checking the battery level. Uh, let's see what kind of battery level. There's a button right here at the bottom. And uh, if you push on that, see this battery is not charged. So I'm gonna have to charge the batteries. I'm gonna guess that none of these batteries are actually charged. I have a whole charging station right up here. So I'm gonna go and plug this in right now and then, uh, and then let it kind of charge. Well, since we actually happen to have a battery, I'm gonna use the, uh, the other battery. The, the other ones have to charge, they're completely empty when you get them. Now it comes already loaded with propellers, which is, uh, which is nice, but I wanted to show you kind of what goes on here. This is the drone fully open. And, uh, and then here we have another tab that we need to remove, number one, and then, and then number two back here as well. So we're gonna remove that as well. Okay, the little gimbal cover. All right, now I'm gonna compare it to the original. Let me see if it will fit. Yeah, they're pretty much, yeah, they're pretty much exactly the same. So the uh, the gimbal cover can be reused if you if you ever lose one or whatever, you can buy one from a, from a mini, original mini, and then you'll be fine. And uh, in here we have two protectors, so we're gonna remove that as well. One and two. Now in terms of the camera in itself, I'm gonna unfold the original mini here as well. In terms of the cameras themselves, this is actually, they look very much exactly the same. And this could be from the fact that uh, the, uh, the Mini 2 is at the bottom. And uh, I think the idea is the fact that uh, it's the, the same size sensor. So they haven't really changed the size of the gimbal in here. So that's, I don't know if, again, if that's good news or not, but it is what it is. And uh, in terms of the propellers, we still have directional propellers. That's, that's, that has to be for every single drone out there. But if you look, we have a, a little marked right here, etched on the side of the leg. So this is the, the front left leg, looking at it from this way. And then we have the same thing on the propellers. We have a little marking. So you need to match these two right here. There's no marking on this one, no marking on the opposite side, and then marking and marking. But all of them have orange propellers. So I guess the orange propellers is really gonna be what uh, tells us if this is a Mavic Mini 2, or I should say Mini 2, or just a Mavic, original Mavic. Um, in terms of the propellers, looking at them and comparing them, they look pretty much exactly the same. So, uh, so from a form factor so far, what we've seen is really, these two drones look pretty much almost exactly the same. 249 grams on the side, it says ultralight, and um, pretty much exactly the same weight, right? And the same shape, so not a whole lot of innovation there. Everything is kind of inside the changes. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, what changes on the inside. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm plugging in my cell phone into the controller. I turn on the controller, it's ready to go. And then I'm gonna to go to the DJI Fly app and then we'll uh, connect this little thing and see what goes on here. So double tap, turn this thing on right here 
And then we're gonna go to the DJI app and then we're gonna click, there you go. It loaded up right away. So we can see Mavic Mini 2 or DJI Mini 2. We can see the drone in itself. And then I'm just gonna click uh, go fly. And then it's activating. That's the first thing you have to do when you get it. You have to activate it. And then we'll wait, agree, binding. This is my email. Yep, that's my DJI account. There you go. The aircraft is activated. And uh, new, I'm gonna skip that. Okay, go fly. Let's take a look. There it is. Take off with caution. It says no GPS signal. Yep, we're inside the studio, so there's nothing in here. No SD card, which makes sense. And then you, here you can see the standards. Um, auto return to home and the maximum altitude and everything is already set to 400 feet. So now in the DJI app, what we have is the, the fly app looks a tiny bit different. Not so, not, not really a big difference, but uh, from what we had with the, uh, the mini, the original mini. Uh, if you look on the top left side, we can not really tap on the mode, end mode and all of that. You would have to change it from the controller in itself right here. So here's our controller. This is where you would change that uh, information. And then otherwise, I'm gonna stay in normal mode. Bottom left corner, we have the map that doesn't change either. It will uh, show you the map. You can make it larger as well. You have your uh, telemetry on the bottom left corner. And then we have the uh, size of the JPEG right here. We can tap on the JPEG to change to tell you how much room is left. We can go manual mode and auto mode right here. And, um, and then we have our photos. So here, let's take a look. We have photos, videos, we can do the AEB mode, this is something new, and then time shot, this is something that we had before as well. And then we have the video mode. The new thing is the 4K, okay? This was not something we had on the original mini. And then 2.7K and then 1080 uh, goes all the way to 60 frames per second. And we have quick shots. Quick shots can only be done in flight, but from what I've seen in the manual, there's actually new quick shots added in here, at least one new one. And we also have a panoramic mode. This is something that we did not have before on the Mini. So are you getting two new quick shots, 10, uh, 4K, and then the panoramic mode in here. So that's pretty cool. And in terms of the settings, let's take a look at the settings. Uh, it looks pretty much like it did on the original Mini. Yep, this looks all different, all the same. Find my drone, remote ID is all in here as well. Uh, the FPV mode, the gimbal rotation, gimbal calibration, phone charging. Phone charging, I think is different. I don't remember seeing that on the old one. RC calibration, yeah, this all looks pretty much the same. Uh, Anti-flicker, this is new. We did not have anti-flicker before. Uh, the subtitles are in here. We can put the histogram in here. This is something we had. And then the uh, white balance, also something that we had. Auto sync HD photos, I think this is new as well. And, uh, and then you cache, that was in there before. And then now obviously we have dual band because uh, this is the, also a big upgrade on this drone is the uh, new uh, OQSync 2.0, which is the same that we had on the Mavic Air 2, on the Mavic 2 Pro, and then also on the Phantom 4 Pro V2. All of those have OQSync 2.0. The original Mavic had the Wi-Fi connection, which is why a lot of people actually complain that it wasn't really all that great flying uh, a longer distance. You would lose connection, so this should not be the case anymore. I would leave it on dual band. It basically switches between 2.4 gig and 5.8 gigahertz, and then finds all the stuff automatically. So I would leave it there. And then here we have, um, yeah, pretty much everything else as before. So those are kind of the, the major changes that we uh, see today on this uh, Mavic, on the Mini 2, I'm gonna get the name right. And um, next thing what we'll do is we'll take it for a flight, but uh, I'm gonna pause this video for now because I wanted you guys to kind of see the difference between the old one and the new one, and then kind of look at the settings in here. And then the next thing that we'll do is we'll take it out for a flight. That information will be in our uh, Mavic Mini 2. I keep saying Mavic, it's no longer Mavic, it's just Mini 2, which makes it easier. In the Mini 2 deep dive course, part of our deep dive series, and where we will go in very much a lot of details about how it flies. But I'll do a comparison of flight time between the two and kind of uh, look the quality of the image. This is a 12 megapixel sensor, same that we had on the original one. So I don't expect a, a ton of difference, quite frankly, in the quality. I think the quality was decent for this size of a drone uh, for the original Mini. So, but we'll see, we'll see the difference. I'll, I'll get some shots for you guys and then you can compare. But uh, this is it. I'm going to sign out for today and uh, I will see you on the next video. Thank you.